a new chapter in transport has begun. Chinese company Xping Aeroheat, the flying car arm of electric vehicle maker Xping Motors, has officially started trial production of what it calls the world's first mass-produced flying car. This puts China ahead of companies like Tesla and LF Aeronautics who are still preparing their prototypes. On November 3, 2025, Xping Aeroheat launched trial operations at its intelligent factory in Guangzhou, China. The facility will manufacture the land aircraft carrier, a modular flying car that combines both ground and air mobility. The move marks a major step toward commercializing next-generation aerial vehicles. This development signals that the race for the first real flying car is no longer a fantasy but a global competition, one that China appears to be leading for now. Xping Aeroheat is a subsidiary of Xping Motors, founded in 2014 and known for its electric vehicles. The company began experimenting with vertical takeoff and landing, also known as EVTOL technology, in the early 2020s, aiming to merge conventional driving with aerial mobility. The new flying car factory, located in Huangpu district, Guangzhou, spans 120,000 square meters and is the world's first intelligent factory for flying car mass production. According to reports, it has already completed the first detachable electric aircraft of the land aircraft carrier. The plant's initial capacity is 5,000 aircraft modules per year, expendable to 10,000 units annually. Once fully operational, one flying car will be assembled every 30 minutes, making it the largest facility of its kind globally. Xping's announcement comes just before Tesla's own expected flying car reveal, giving China a head start in the aerial vehicle market. The land aircraft carrier is a two-part modular vehicle, a six-wheeled ground vehicle called the Mothership and a detachable EVTOL aircraft that can take off vertically. The detachable aircraft can operate in manual or automatic mode. In automatic mode, it supports one-touch takeoff and landing and uses smart route planning for safe autonomous flight. The car measures around 5.5 meters in length, small enough to be driven on normal roads with a standard driving license and can fit in a regular parking space. Xping says it has already secured nearly 5,000 orders for the vehicle, with mass production and delivery expected in 2026. While Xping has entered trial production, Tesla is still finalizing its prototype. CEO Elon Musk recently stated that Tesla is getting close to demonstrating its flying car. Musk hinted that the product's demo would be unforgettable, possibly featuring a retractable wing design, but provided no further details. He added that the unveiling might happen in a couple of months. Another US-based company, LF Aeronautics, has already demonstrated test runs of its flying car and announced that commercial production would start soon. CEO Jim Dukhavne said LF has received over $1 billion worth of pre-booking orders. Unlike Xping's design, LF's version will require both a driver's license and a light plane flying license to operate. Xping's primary goal is to integrate urban air mobility into daily transport, allowing users to bypass traffic and travel short distances by air. Its intelligent factory aims to automate large-scale production of flying cars by 2026, positioning China as a global hub for this technology. The company envisions a future where flying cars coexist with road vehicles, supported by smart infrastructure, regulations and safety frameworks. If successful, Xping could set the stage for China's dominance in the emerging aerial mobility sector, an area where traditional car manufacturers are still experimenting.